Welcome back to Average Joe Infinity, you guys. We recently just crossed over 100 subscribers, and I wanted to do something a little different for you guys. I wanted to show you my setup, and I also wanted to kind of document things for you guys and myself, and as well as anyone who might be interested in starting YouTube, to see what the setup of an actual beginner looks like. That being said, I kind of want to walk you guys through what I started with and then things that I've added to because I've made some additions recently. And I know when big YouTubers show their setups, they're so insane that it just feels really daunting and overwhelming and that like nothing is ever good enough, which is totally okay because they've got cool setups and obviously good advice because they've done really well for themselves. Um, something else I want to say before I start is thank you to my dad. Uh, because without him, none of this would be possible. He's always encouraged me to learn and grow and try new things. And along with that, he's let me use some of his odds and ends equipment to help make my videos just a little bit better. It's not anything crazy. I'm not riding on his coattails by any means. But I have to say thank you to my dad for that. And also, some of the equipment you'll see in the video is some of his stuff because he's nice enough to share this space with me so that I have a nicer looking space because this is better than anything I personally have. So let's just get started. I'm just going to start from, from the right here because all this stuff on the right, that's all my dad's and there's not really a whole lot to say there. This light, he's got these nice lights. You can actually get some really good alternatives over at like Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, they're little clamp lights, but they're basically the same thing without the light diffuser on them. So if I were to not have this light, that's exactly what I would go do. And then this stand is actually a cymbal stand from a drum set because I played drums for a long time. So as we come over here to the left, I'll kind of step back so you guys can just kind of see everything. We have the nice grandma blanket over here that's super soft and warm that I use on colder mornings. Something I just want to say really quick is that Big YouTubers often tell people, all you really need to start YouTube is a cell phone, which is true. In my opinion, it depends on the quality that you're going for. I think with a cell phone, you'd be in great shape to start like a vlog or something like that. These days, cell phone cameras are so amazing that it's not really a big deal. There's quite a few apps out there that you can do editing for free, probably create thumbnails as well. I haven't looked too much because I prefer to edit on a computer and that's I, I just think it's easier and better for me to do it that way. So I started out with my computer and my cell phone, which I'm using today, which is a Samsung Galaxy S7. Uh, nothing crazy there. Let me talk about my computer really quick, and then we'll get to some of the other stuff, because the computer is where it all started. So my computer here, uh, the case is just the cheapest DIY PC case, and I actually have the box right back there. Um, so the case isn't really anything special. As far as the motherboard, it's got a Gigabyte Z170 Gaming 7, uh, which is limited to the 100 series processors for Intel. Uh, my processor's an Intel i5-7600K. Uh, graphics card is Asus 1060 3 gig version, so kind of the low end there. Those are both things I'd really like to upgrade because that would definitely give things a lot more power. So I started with a one terabyte hard disk drive. I put a Blu-ray drive in my computer thinking it would probably be more helpful than it actually turned out to be. Um, but uh, I more recently put in a solid state drive, 256 gigs from Kingston because you can get those pretty cheap. They're like 30 bucks. So I put the OS on there because I heard it was super fast and load times went from like two or three minutes to about 20 seconds. So I honestly, I can't keep my balance. Um, honestly, I can't ever go back. I, it's, it's Once you've experienced that, waiting for your computer to load is just ridiculous. So that's always my recommendation now, is if you can get a computer that has both a solid state with the OS on it and a hard disk drive so you get more capacity, that's the way to go. Let's talk about a couple things here. Blue cable here is the one that really stands out. That's just an extension that runs over to my webcam that I use now. I have this little Samson adapter that's for the lav mic that I'm using in this video, and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, the gray USB here comes over here to my Microsoft Xbox 360 wireless adapter, which um, I use to play games on the PC, and it works like a dream. When I bought it, they were like 40 bucks, and now you can get them for something like 15. The other thing to note on my computer, just to give you a rough idea here, is I built it about two years ago. 
so 2017 and it cost me about a thousand dollars and then like i said i added the solid state drive i added in a wireless card so i have made some additions after the fact and that's why i went with this case i wanted a sizable case that i could upgrade things into or if i rebuilt my computer i could just reuse the same case that's about it on the computer the next thing is i have these super cheap jvc headphones that i use they seriously were like 20 or 25 bucks a long long time ago um, they're not anything amazing, nothing to write home about, um, but they they do well for what I need. The downside is they're not really comfortable for long periods of time, about 45 minutes. You can see I've got the Oculus Rift CV1 with the sensors. Uh, my cousin got me hooked on the Rift. Now I know a lot of people feel like VR is really expensive to get into, and if you have to buy a $1,000 computer and a $400 headset, yes, uh, it is pretty expensive to get into, especially if you're not just like into gaming or computers or whatever. Um, now the nice thing is they have the Oculus Quest, the standalone unit, so that's kind of a cool way that people can go without investing as much money. Uh, what I did to get mine was I actually went around, I went through all my stuff and found everything of reasonable value that I was not using at all. Um, or hadn't touched in like more than a year or two. And I sold all that stuff on eBay. I made enough money there to be able to buy the Oculus Rift. A couple other things to note, you might see these little speakers back here. Uh, these are Mackie CR3s. I think they run about $100. Those also are not mine, and I really don't use them a lot, except when I'm tired of wearing the headphones. Those, those speakers are my dad's. But they're pretty nice. They're, they have a lot of bass to them. Anyway, a couple other things here are I've got my wireless charger for my phone just to keep me going um, when I'm editing or doing whatever, and then I've got keyboard and mouse naturally. So this is the K500, and something to note about this keyboard is that um, if you plug it into a USB 3.0, it works like garbage. Mouse and keyboard came bundled, so it's bundled as the MK550. But you plug the USB into 3.0 and it works like garbage, like you'll type and nothing happens and then it just kind of types a whole bunch of gobbledygook, um, totally useless. So if you have this, you're having issues, plug it into a USB 2.0. Um, so I guess as long as I've got a 2.0 port, I'm okay, which the case has. Um, my motherboard does not, so that's kind of interesting as well. Also, you've probably noticed Gravity Falls, that's one of my favorite cartoons. Um, just so good, there's not really anything else to be said there. But getting on to my next major upgrade into YouTube was I wanted to improve the quality of my face camera and my audio. So I got this webcam, it's the Logitech C920S. I picked it up for about 70 bucks. You can get it for way better deals than that, but I was kinda not in a position that I really wanted to wait around to find a better deal. So I just pulled the trigger. I used that when I worked at a tech support job and I really, really liked it. I thought it gave great picture compared to other web webcams I had used. I know tons of people on YouTube recommend this camera in particular, which didn't hurt its cause in me buying that one. Now the other thing I wanna show you that's, that was part of my next upgrades was the lav mic. So here's the little pack. It's the Samson Stage PXD1. And like I said, it transmits over to that little USB adapter, it's got a clip on it. That actually has done a really, really good job. I've been super happy with it, but I mostly wanted to use that more for VR content since you're up and moving around. And I really wanted to get a nicer microphone, which you've obviously seen by now, um, for sitting down to play games and do other stuff because that really is more of what's happening on the channel. So the lav mic was about $100, so 170 bucks got me a webcam and a lav mic to get me good face cam. Um, of course, we, we can talk software super briefly, so I should, I should do that, but first I'm gonna talk about this microphone. So this bigger microphone that you've seen as we've been moving around, this is the Shure PGA27. The microphone itself with the shock mount runs about 200. I managed to find a, kind of a bundle on Amazon for like 320 or something um, that included the microphone, shock mount, XLR cable, the stand, and I forget what these things are called right now. Uh, this is the Shure X2U. Uh, lets you plug in the XLR mic and then send it over to the computer via USB. 
Uh, it has the phantom power on it, the plus 48 volts down here. I don't think that's focusing. Um, to run these bigger microphones. So this normally runs about $100 by itself. So with cables and stand and everything all said and done, um, it was a pretty reasonable deal. And then I got this pop filter for like eight bucks. It, again, just like one of the cheapest things I could find. As far as setup, that's pretty much it. Also, you notice my computer is backwards. It's just so it's easier to get to the, the cables and stuff, um, to the ports, I mean. Last thing to note is that I realize even my setup can seem a little bit daunting. Um, the monitor is just one I had laying around. It's not anything fancy, but uh, it's important to note that basically what I do is I just invest my big boy allowance into my stuff. So I'm not dumping, you know, all my money into this because YouTube doesn't make me any money. Um, I just I like making videos, so naturally I like YouTube and I think it's fun. Thank you guys for joining me. I really appreciate it. 100 subs. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. It's been super fun. If there's anything else you guys want to know, just comment below. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Hit subscribe. Don't forget, share this stuff with your friends. And... That's it.